Hello, welcome to Have A Go and I'm Alan. Back in the shed today and we're doing something that honestly I probably should have done to begin with. I put this coupling nut on here originally intense, yeah, meant to drive the, this back and forth as an apron. Now turn the handle, this thread moves, it drags us along with it. I didn't really want to bother, but I think I may have to. So I'm going to have to put some bends in this. Alright, what I'm trying to do here is the front of this nut is not in line with the front of the headstock. Pay attention when I'm talking. So I just need to put a little S bend in to go from the outside here to the inside there. Not much of one, but I do need a little bit. That bandsaw is one of the best investments I ever made. Right, so this is the way it will hopefully work. That goes through there. Out of here you silly thing. Out! 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 The way that Maker Size did it was to drill the hidden here and use some kind of self-tapping jobby and then swear when the head broke off the self-tapping jobby because he was using his cordless drill and it went far too fast and over torqued and tore the head off I have no optimism this is going to go any better for me When Maker Size did this, this pulled away from him, but I'm not worried here because I've got this screw here clamping the metal to it. We now have the world's worst apron driving this thing. I know I had at least one viewer worried about that, so hopefully that will put your fears to rest now that I won't be using my hand to directly push this but instead using the lead screw I did try using the carriage in the half nut but the half nut doesn't have enough torque to actually push you know, something this heavy I need to put either a bigger spring or a tougher spring onto my lead screw or half nut or some rubber bands or something Looking forward to when I take this headstock off for the last time and drill the mounting holes because then I'm going to see what the final weight is after all this metal removal. As an aside, I'm running at the lowest speed on the pulleys. I tried jumping, jumping the speed up a bit and you know how the bar deflects away from the cutting like I told you in an earlier video? Well at the low speed, when it, the bar deflecting is not a problem. If you try and increase the speed, then centrifugal forces start to kick in and the bar deflecting yeah, makes it deflect even more because the centrifugal and then it starts hitting the bore. Not good. There we go. Finally. And this is why I didn't try and move the sh further down the shaft to get it off or to do the boring. Because this thing doesn't always fit nice. 
It almost never fits nice. Right, I just need to scoot the bed over a bit because this pulley, the outer um, part here, does not fit vertically in there. So I'm going to scoot the bed over. Oh, the other reason I need to take the bed off is to drill mounting holes for this headstock. Any road, that's the end of the jolly boring. It was not fun. <laughs> well, we got there in the end. So, thank you for watching and have a nice day.